bird bath. I think we have a couple of bird baths. So it's not really on our deal list. They're quite heavy. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Really? Really? My mouth is literally hanging open. I am, I am dumbstruck. So, yeah, I guess these things did exist. We just had to, we just had to look for them better. We we made ourselves a trailer, and no, if we'd have played fair and everything. We wouldn't have had to. You, you may notice that's more than one trailer. That is three trailers and two trucks and they're sitting here completely unguarded we almost died getting this blue truck my god those things are beautiful look at them now just because it looks unguarded i'm not um, i'm not dropping my guard let me check the area Let's see if the zombie over here playing dead I guess we could. I was gonna say we could. Whoop, right over there. Um, we could go home, get a truck, come back, and uh, and take one of these things with us. But uh, then I just realised, oh, we have a truck with us right now. Probably take one of these things home with us. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Those three park inside our base. We will have to extend the hypothetical wall. Uh, but they would look gorgeous. And that red truck to add to our collection. Apparently these come in three different variants. Uh, I don't know if, you could, if they have any visible um, distinctions or not. I don't, think they, I don't think they all have the sleeper section, but the, but the two we are using do. This is... This is just my model. Again, unless these places are filled with zombies, which would be hilarious, not gonna lie. Could listen to these walls. Hear anything in there? Take these trucks, actually. Uh, so engine's not good, battery's not good. That's a key, though. It's in dodgy condition. Looks like it's in good condition. Um, out of gas, engine should work, battery is bad, okay, no, it's, it's not good, but it's not bad. No alarm, don't hear any hissing. Doors are locked. Wish you could lock windows. Here we go. Sacks of rotten potatoes. It would smell in here now. As long as we don't actually eat any of this food. That's not actually listing itself as dangerous. They removed that notification, or is it not actually dangerous? Uh, so normally this stuff would be of very little use to anyone, unless you wanted uh, a lot of compost. 
but again, technically with our cooking, we could eat all of this just slowly. I'm just dumbfounded. This wasn't the sort of place I was even thinking of looking. I was thinking industrial zones, not um, not warehouses. Now, do I put those trucks in the thumbnail of the video? Because it would look like an awesome thumbnail, or would that spoil things too much? Maybe I put them in the thumbnail of the next video. Would that work. Next ten. Let's head back to our car and sleep. We can decide how many sacks we want to take. That's a screwdriver. safe in here given that we're not actually at one of the windows we're in the back seat um, this is my preference i'm going to play it safe and we're gonna try to grind up against this building this one does okay, so that should make it yeah so i can't see the exit vehicle sign so hopefully it means the zombie can't get there either Oh wow, three beautiful trailers and two trucks, unguarded the whole time. You know what's south of here is six more warehouses or two more spots like this. So I mean we did pass the one near the Pony Romo, so there was a triple warehouse there. Nothing, when we specifically checked, nothing. There was a double warehouse closer to Muldra, we was even considering that as one of our base locations. Styles in front or behind. Why this seems like one of the safest, least occupied places we've ever been. You know what's really funny? If we'd have found this, I really might have considered this place as a, um, a base opportunity. Check that other truck. Oh. 
if any zombies want to buy, they can open these windows. I guess I can fix that. I've got some block line of sight. Yes, I can take some brakes with me. Or well, failing that, I can take the planks with me. We are going to be um, building a wall at some point. Yeah, let's um, as many sacks as we can. I guess in theory, if I just get enough of these sacks, I could even go outside and fill them up with dirt. Uh, we were not intending. I mean, that was not the was part of the plan, but this is why we do bring uh, do with us and things like that on even a single day trip. And if we needed to eat this stuff, we could. Because yeah, with the with the capacity of one of those trailers, uh, it would almost make sense to just take it all with us and again use it as use it as compost. Biofuel would be I don't know, something like that. Okay, so we're gonna be here for a while. I suppose I can well no, but taking the dirt I need the sack. So I need eight hundred dirt on a sack. So two hundred sacks, which would be eight hundred weight. We could do that, we could find that many sacks. Then the other option would have just been to take all the sacks with us food and all and make use of it at home, though God knows how many composters we'd have to build to get it all in, I suppose we wouldn't have to get it all in in the first kit. Other people get excited over machetes and fire axes. I'm excited over sacks. Sacks that I can use to carry dirt. We could go to the, the um the other warehouse that's right here as well. We'll definitely get us up to the two hundred. But definitely would get bought to. Sacks. Okay, a good bowl, let's take that. Right, let's check in here carefully. Because the zombie hasn't jumped us from here yet. I mean, there's not one here. Gravel bags. Okay. Well, let's take them. We, um, we might want some gravel parts or something. Juggle things will go straight in the back. But this is pretty productive. And of course, for all our efforts, we've barely, barely started filling that truck. Even the fog wouldn't be so bad if I knew it affected zombies. I believe it does not. I, I could be wrong. There's a hole again. Favorite of it, it's fine. Hey, blaster. We find some bleach in here. I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket. Three sports tires in mint condition. Wouldn't have been able to take those in a, a normal car. Fertilizer. Plenty of makeshift fertilizer at home. While we're here, makes sense to loot it all. We'll probably spend the night here again by the look of it. Let's 
Pick the other warehouse. I'm pick nine sacks. Pick the other warehouse. Carefully. I sometimes miss playing on the ultra wide screen display. I would have been able to see that backyard, that house, and probably the road on the other side of it. Fifty of these. And there's our two hundred sacks. Once this is all done, we will be able to make a sandbag wall. You will not believe the sandbags are a bit wonky. They go invisible in some alignments. I think they're indestructible. Zombies and unpassable in others, they're a bit wonky. But look good though. Yeah, when they're visible. Let's get something to eat. a trowel or something like that, I might not. That would just mean we can't um, build these up here. just run out of water, so we're going to have to go. Twenty-nine sacks, I wasn't able to allow well, that. I would have thought the amount of water we brought was a little overkill, but I wasn't expecting whether this turned into a five-day trip. There are some houses near here. Um, we could go into one of them and get bitten while trying to get some water. Um, it's an option. Boy, I feel real stupid. Feels fine. Just checking my memory yet. There were no, there's no water in those. It's just rotten fruit and vegetables. We'll head home. It has been far more profitable than we expected. It's a lonely looking shed. Okay, but this is why being prepared is good. Um, we could have carried more food, more water. Where it gets thick for a bit. 
Ow, ow, ow. Trucky doesn't want to have to keep doing that. Yeah, I really should check this thing's help before we're making this return trip. Not my usual cautious self there. Okay, so now this area was also quite uh, populated with zombies. Until we get past the back wheel, we did some honking to draw more out last time we were here, we might regret that. Uh, once we get past the entrance to the country club, uh, it thins out a lot more because we've trafficked that area quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to leave it off there today. Welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel, and thank you to everyone who's liked the video or left a nice comment. We are definitely going back for all of those trailers and trucks. They're going to look awesome outside our base. Looking forward to it. Hope to see you in the next episode. You have a great day.